Primo's honey. Stream the language. Randy Anderson again here. Hey, we're getting into the end of August here, and coyote calling is just going to be around the corner. Starting to get a little excited. How about you? Well, I'm going to take you back up into Canada here with old Morris Woolly Cowerchuck. This is our first day. Uh, get in late the night before and uh, don't get a whole lot of sets in here, but we have some pretty good luck. Wooly nails this first one. We're just, uh, oh, not too far from his place behind there, and our son has just come up, but this one comes in kind of from behind us and uh, don't get much footage. Meal. Nice meal. Want me to call him in closer next time, Willie? Yes, we gotta do that. What do you got there? Uh, big old nail. Yeah? Yeah. Big old nail. Uh, 273 yards from where you're sitting. That's pretty good. Usually you miss the first one, Willie. I know. Huh? <laughs> well, got the first one this time. Yep. Yeah. Well, Wooly and I are back in the truck now going down the road thinking about where we're going to go next. When Wooly gets a call from his uncle, he said he just went by a dead deer that got hung up in the fence. And uh, there was four coyotes right on it in broad daylight. So now we're going to go check that spot out. We don't have too far to go, three or four miles. That'd be a bad way to go, wouldn't it, Wooly? Yeah, it kind of hung itself up. It's like hung a wrestler. itself on a fence. Here. It's like a wrestler. Don't they wrestlers do that? They get wound yeah. up. <laughs> I think the ravens have picked the eyes up. Boy, there'll be coyotes around here tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Right for by sure. the highway here. Yeah. Yeah, but we can probably try it over in that, along the creek over there. Yeah. It's a mule deer doe. Yeah, a mule deer? Yeah. yeah, mule deer doe. Well, I'm usually up to Woolies for maybe four, four and a half days of hunting, and uh, we usually have a plan, you know, with the way the wind is usually. If the wind's this direction, we're going to go to these spots, vice versa. So, but this kind of throws a wrench into it because when you have a dead animal fresh like that, coyotes are going to come from all over. They serenade and they'll come into their howls and reach out there. So we're going to start going on some stands just within a mile, mile and a half of this, just right around it. Here's our first spot. We're just going kind of southwest over the hill about a mile or so. After one initial interrogation howl, I'm going to answer myself like a raspy pup coyote. We waited a few minutes, nothing answered back, so now I'm in stage two blowing the double jack call. Just started up the alpha dog on the jackrabbit distress and we're gonna get a surprise. How many did we hear howl last year when we were in this spot? Oh, a lot. Fifteen of them? <laughs> yeah, probably. Wooly probably. whacked four of them. <clears throat> Woo! Woo! No. Right, right by the shoot, collar. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, Randy got all four of them. <laughs> One year later, and got a little snow on the ground, and there's a dead deer hanging in a fence about what, a mile and a half, two yeah, miles up that way? Probably. Actually, where that coyote come from. Was that way? And I think that all the coyotes in the area are probably up there. That's what coyotes, ha that's what happens. Something dies, and they'll howl. There's a serenade they do, and then the next coyote serenade, and then all the coyotes, God's way to keep the coyotes going. You'd think they'd want to keep it hush-hush, wouldn't you, Willie? Yeah, no If you kidding. had that good steak, you wouldn't want everybody mm, where to get it. Sharpen yeah. the knife up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the wind's coming perfect. The wind's coming right like this, but it must be bouncing off this hill. 
got our scent and we stink, don't we? Yeah, exactly. And off you went. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 39 yards. Oh, okay. It's a female. That's an older female, ain't it? Yeah, it looks like it, Randy. Nice yeah. yeah. Nice yeah. pelt. Yeah, look at that guard hair sticking up. Yeah. Winter's coming. How are your guard hairs doing, Willie? I don't know, pretty good. They're not gray yet. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Take your hat. Oh, yeah, Willie's still got her. I ain't bald yet. Wrapped up two this morning. Yeah, so far. So far. Ain't yeah. even hardly 10 o'clock yet. So. Now we're gonna go on the other side of that uh, dead deer. That's right. Hung, hanging in the fence or by the road. And... Well, there's that dead deer by the highway. We're now on the east side of the highway. We were just across over that hill. I'm following up Wooly and I's initial howls with the alpha dog. <coughs> Young male answer howl. <coughs> That's a vacant farm place over there. Good place for a coyote to hide. And here comes a coyote, right out of there. Man, look at all the magpies on that deer now. <laughs> Is that us? Yeah. Oh, little female. 102 yards, 102 yards. Pretty close though. All right. A nice female. They are fun to call in. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Well, we got time for maybe one or two more sets. Well, we going down a row, we got to think, well, here's a good fox spot. We might try this. So we do stop and, and Wooly will get a fox here. But now here we're on our, our last stand here. And um, I start off just with a hot dog. I'm doing, I call it a male interrogation howl. Just me in the studio blowing it. And it gets these cows to pipe up right away. And we just go right to stage two. I think it's cottontail rabbit and here they come. You're gonna hear Willie lip squeak to let me know the coyotes are coming out of the trees. I hit the hot button on the raspy serenade 
Look at this coyote come to that serenade, even though we shot. You alpha dog did his job on that one. Wind's really blowing. Wind was blowing right where they come from, from there to us. Well, that sure worked good, Willie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah they were, boy, it's a beeline for that alpha dog. Yep. They had no clue we were standing in here. Yep. Yeah. Willie's here now, standing right up there like a dork. Well, that's a big male. And we got the young female, so not too bad a day. Well, they got a late start. Snowing this morning, and I had jet lag. Got in late last <laughs> night. Yeah. Four coyotes and a fox, and a lot of fun, huh, Wally? Yeah, it's good. Well, we haven't missed. I know, five for five. Five. For five. Well, that worked out pretty good on our shortened first day, so. Uh, this is part one, so now I'm going to come out with a part two here in a week or so, and it'll be mostly this next day where we're hitting the same area around that dead deer, and we're going to thump quite a few more. Clean out them coyotes, because they sure like that fresh deer meat. We'll see you on part two.